Hi, boys and girls. Just a reminder that this week is the book fair and reading night. I hope to see you there. And our story is called Crazy Clothes. I don't know about you, I didn't know clothes could be crazy. I wonder what this is gonna be about. Mommy, come here, sit down, said Patrick. I want you to watch me. I'm going to get dressed all by myself. Good, said Mommy. I'd love to watch. You're very grown up. She sat on Patrick's bed. Patrick took his pants from the drawer. Hey, where do you think you're going? He said to his pants. Patrick looked in the mirror. His pants were on his head. Oh, I get it, said Patrick to his pants. You're tired of being pants. You want to be a hat today. I think you make a great hat. Stay right where you are. Well, that is kind of crazy. Patrick took a sweater out of his drawer. Hold it. Have you gone crazy too? Patrick asked his sweater. Mommy said, it looks like your sweater has decided to be pants today. That's fine with me, said Patrick. I like these pants. They look terrific. Get this straight, said Patrick to the white shirt he pulled out of the drawer. I'm the boss, and I say you've got to be a shirt today or else. Patrick put the shirt over his head. Help, I'm stuck, said Patrick. I told you, shirt, no fooling around. The shirt would not come down over his head. Then Patrick had an idea. He ran over to Mommy and yelled, Boo! Mommy jumped off the bed. Oh dear, there's a ghost in the house, cried Mommy. Patrick laughed under the shirt. He pulled once more and it came down over his head. It's only me, he said. I won't bother with sleep, said Patrick. Mommy was looking at her watch. I've got lots of work to do, she said. I'll hurry, said Patrick. Mama was getting fidgety. So if she's getting fidgety, does she want to wait or not? Socks, you're next, said Patrick. He opened a drawer. Now what I'll do, he asked. Red socks, you want to be picked to match my new red pants. And blue socks, you want to be picked to match my blue hat. Patrick shrugged. I'll pick one of each and make you both happy, he said. I just realized he's got a lizard in his room. You can feel very warm and nice, exclaimed Patrick to his socks. Forget about going on my feet. You are mittens. Great. Well, I suppose in a pinch, socks would work as mittens. Which is which? You don't know your left from your right, said Patrick to his shoes. His right shoe was on his left foot and his left shoe was on his right foot. Let's see if I can walk. Yes, of course I can. Shoes stay right where you are. I don't like putting my shoes on the wrong foot. They don't feel right. Now for the coat trick, said Patrick. Look, mom, my teacher taught me this. 
He laid his coat on the floor and put his arms in it. Coat, you're playing a trick on me, cried Patrick. You've gone backwards. Patrick looked in the mirror and laughed, but Mommy wasn't laughing at all. It was funny at first, said Mommy, but now I'm beginning to think you're not grown up enough to dress yourself. I can too dress myself, protested Patrick. It's the clothes that were fooling around. Now they'll cooperate. Don't go away, Mommy. Close your eyes and count to a hundred. Mommy closed her eyes and started counting. She was only at 88 when Patrick said, open your eyes. What do you think he did? Oh, Patrick, said Mommy, clapping her hands. You dress so fast. Of course I can dress myself, explained Patrick. Those clothes were acting crazy. But they'll be good from now on, I hope. Oh no, look what the scarf did. And he's giggling. Silly Patrick. So, did you like the story or not? Let me know. And have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.